This is your AF in Afghanistan Freedom Watch update. I'm Air Force Staff Sergeant Michael Jackson. Afghan leaders and members of the International Security Assistance Force held two days of discussions to improve counterinsurgency operation. They discussed best practices for all units operating in Afghanistan and came up with ways to help prevent civilian casualties. More than 90 people from all regions of Afghanistan, the Afghan National Army, and Afghan National Police participated. This was the first of its kind hosted by the ISAF Joint Command. More than 2,500 patients have been medically evacuated out of Afghanistan since January, according to Bagram Airfield's medical staff. Senior Airman Jay Hernandez explains how a few devoted service members make this possible. Service members at the Contingency Air Medical Staging Facility, or CASIF at Bagram Airfield, carry a heavy burden. They're responsible for safely transporting wounded warriors. Our whole mission is to either receive patients from around theater and then also move patients out of theater. The staff moves patients carefully and quickly onto transport buses to make their deadline. All of the air crews have what they call crew day. They only have X amount of hours that they're allowed to be flying that aircraft. Members of the CASIF team say they work through the chaos of coordinating patient transfer without losing sight that the patients are human beings. I received what, what to me was the highest order of compliment when one of them said, you treat us like real people. That's the goal of the CASIF team, to treat wounded warriors like real people and get them safely back to their lives and families. Senior Airman Jay Hernandez, Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan.